Let's see. All right, hold on. Let me let me read this. Article. Previously uh, on Moe's Ronnie's Land. real death and why it made old Fontaine clone himself. When Fontaine claims that his younger brother Ronnie would never approve of OG Fontaine's actions, OG Fontaine reminds well, yeah, reminds him that just because he gave Fontaine a few memories of Ronnie's death doesn't does not mean he knows everything about it. OG Fontaine recalls that Ronnie was shot in the chest by a cop and sustained an injury that could that he could have survived if he was given timely medical attention. But Ronnie got none of that and was left abandoned to die slowly. When OG Fontaine saw his body, the unclean blood from his wounds had turned black and crusty on his skin. I remember him talking about that. That's when he was shot in the chest, well, in the shoulder, y'all. He was sitting in there. OG Fontaine had to clean Ronnie himself. Oh, so this is his memory. Oh, okay, okay. OG Fontaine had to clean Ronnie himself, which deeply scarred him and made him realize that no one cared about his people. As a result, he set out on a mission to use his scientific forte to clone himself and conduct a mind control gene modification experience on the Glenn black population so that no one else would suffer like his brother, Ronnie. OG Fontaine's traumatic past adds many layers of complexity to his motives, but unfortunately does not justify his actions. That's so, an interesting backstory right there. Hmm. Now I get now again, again it goes now into his motives because I said it would have been so cliche for him to say, Oh, I'm doing it just because I want to do it, because I want to flex how good of a scientist I am. But now we get more reasoning as to why he did it. But again, like the end of the article state, it does not justify his actions because at the end of the day, it's still affecting people's free will. Yeah, Queen, he was explaining it, uh, but for me reading it, this is better than me listening to because I couldn't. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was on my phone listening to it and watching it. So, so we got it. All right, can we cut OG Fontaine a little bit of slack because he was doing this because he didn't want anyone else treated like his little brother was treated. Now he was going about it all wrong, trying to make people white. But well, here's the thing: like maybe you know initially that was his goal, but see the thing is that's the thing about power. Sometimes when you get a little bit of it, you're always gonna want more. Because a little bit's not going to be enough. You get a little bit of taste of power, and then it's like, wow, what could I do if I could amplify this times 10, times 20, times 100? There's always a what if factor there. The thing is, he could have stopped at any time, but he decided to keep going. Now all these labs have popped up all over the place instead of just being in one spot. Yeah, I mean, that's what this uh, the part of the article is also. Let me see. It says, why the Glenn was chosen for experiments and only some residents are cloned. But I guess it's only the residents that are... I mean, they explain we need people like the pimp, the drug dealer. We need people that are going to keep the community down. So, But it also said that Fontaine was from here and his little brother got killed. So that's why they chose the Glenn because he was the scientist that started all this. The Glen is a hot spot for crimes where drug dealers like Fontaine and pimps like Slick get away with several illegal activities. This shows how the neighborhood already has a weak and corrupt governance structures where no one is truly accountable for their actions. By misusing the lack of political stability in the Glen, the government oppresses its population by conducting experiments on them because it's known because it knows it can get away with it. Although Nixon tries justifying that they have nothing against black people, their experiments are politically repressing the black population by making them more obedient. So Nixon is the white said. guy, y'all. Yeah. yeah, that's Keith Sullivan's character. I never, I forgot his name, so it is Nixon. How ironic, you know, <laughs> how ironic that his name is Nixon and the first person I think of is Richard Nixon. <laughs> Dick. And what did he do? The quote-unquote war on drugs. Who did that affect? Black communities. See, See, we putting it all together, okay? <laughs> we we it's like we are linked here. See, that's what the live shows are for. I wouldn't be able to explain all this just getting on here and trying to record y'all 15, 20 minute video. That's why I like the live show because now we can actually get the backstories and see what the directors really wanted us to, you know, what I'm saying what what direction they were going in, and we get the backstories. Now it says Nixon may deny that the government is biased. 
However, the fact that they have chose the Glenn for the experiment confirms that the whole operation was driven by a deep seated sense of racism where de facto racial segregation was being misused to push political interests in the name of scientific research. So that's why the clone, they saying, hey, man, this ain't political, but, you know, we got to do our research. And, you know, sometimes research, uh, we might need some of the local. That basically saying that y'all might be victims to all this, but we're doing this for a good cause. It's not political, it's just for scientific research. In many ways, this also establishes how the underlying conspiracy and they clone Tyrone is similar to real life to TV uh, syphilis study, which was a gross violation of human rights. And I just said that earlier. Yeah, that Tatege, uh, Tatege, that was bad. That was all the way bad. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of, because it was mainly on black men they were doing it on. They, a lot of black men died from that or just got extremely sick. Like, their lives completely changed because of that. I like, I ain't, I'm not going to lie. I like to hear you break that down. If you ever get a chance to just talk a little I, bit on that. I'm trying to think, did I ever talk about that in a video? I can't remember if I did or if I didn't. Yep, this is exactly what we're saying. Only a few residents in the Glen, like Fontaine and Slick, were being cloned because they were the ones who kept the neighborhood dangerous and unsafe for outsiders. Of course, you know how it is when you go into a neighborhood like, man, you got to ask somebody, can we go over there? Nah, don't mess with that. Mm -hmm. If the Glen was not so rampant with crime, outside forces would have gentrified the neighborhood, making it suitable for more privileged people. That would not be favorable for conducting the experiments because gentrification would displace racial minorities and make the neighborhood more politically stable. Therefore, mm -hmm. to ensure that outlaws like Fontaine Slick stay around to keep the Glen politically vulnerable and immune to gentrification, the government lab keeps sending their clones to the surface every time they die. Yep. So every time Fontaine died, they just sent another Fontaine in. because he did say that he said if we got rid of y'all we would have three starbucks in here by two mm -hmm. and think, look what's going on right now like gentrification has been going on for a few like ye uh, years now at this point and one thing i've always learned is that if you see a whole foods pop up that means the gentrification process has already begun in your neighborhood facts now i don't even drink starbucks now, where my parents live now, like where I'm at, I'm in South KC right now. So it it really ain't much out here. But where my parents moved when I transferred schools into uh, Grandview, Grandview was a spot you wanted to go to. Grandview wasn't what it is today. Now, they didn't move it out even further. So it's this place called Belton. But out in Belton, they got the Starbucks. They got the Walmart, the Sam's Club. They got all of that. And now it's just mainly black people where... We initially moved, it wasn't that many black people. It, 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 I mean, it's not as bad, but of course, the inner city, just like any other state in cities, that, I mean, that's bad. But I mean, Kansas City is Kansas City. I love it here, but man, I stay indoors. I don't be out like that. Mm -hmm. 